Certainly melanoma has been rising in incidence for the last 30 years. Um, we think due to the increased interest in tanning, um, particularly tanning beds are associated with increased melanoma risk. However, um, all skin cancer is related to the sun. Um, if you get enough sun, you're going to get a skin cancer. About one in out of every four adults get skin cancer in their lives. We see a ton of it. About uh, three and a half million Americans every year get it. So it's pretty, pretty much something I do on a daily basis. Um, I think it's a concern that everybody has. Um, we, there's, no, there's really no patient who doesn't get some sun exposure. Um, unless you're indoors your whole life, you're going you're gonna to be at risk. And so it's kind of a, an important issue. The risk factors uh, for skin cancer relate to sun, but of course there are, there are others. Um, the most important risk factors are going to be the color of your skin. So the fairer your skin is, so patients who are blonde or redheaded who have blue or green eyes have an increased incidence. Um, patients who have more than 50 moles are going to have an increased incidence. Patients who have a family history, particularly of melanoma, a blood relative who has melanoma are going to have a greater risk. Um, patients who have done tanning particularly are going to have a greater risk, but also just, just general cumulative sun over a lifespan. So people who are outdoors, who have um, interest in outdoor activities like golfing, fishing, um, gardening, they're going to all have increased risks. Um, um, there is some increased risk associated with smoking and um, with just general um, family history. The three major are basal cell carcinoma, which is the most common and the least deadly. Um, basal cell carcinomas uh, do a lot of destruction. Um, if you leave them, they can eat into tissue, they can eat into bone, muscle, uh, they can destroy a nose or an ear, they can cause, um, uh, they can eat into your orbit, into your eye. Um, uh, they cause a lot of problems with that way, but they tend to be slower growing and they tend not to metastasize, to spread through the body. Um, the second most common is called squamous cell carcinoma and that also causes a lot of uh, local damage, local destruction, um, and uh, uh, is usually slow growing. There are more aggressive types on that one. That one can metastasize if allowed to. Um, uh, they are both treatable and common. I, this is the kind of thing I see on a daily basis. Um, the third major type of skin cancer is melanoma. Melanoma is the kind that comes from moles that go bad and this is the most deadly. This is the kind that can kill you quickly, that can metastasize, and that can strike even young people. Um, and that's why um, the association with tanning is so concerning to us and the fact that the incidence has increased um, so dramatically. It worries us a lot because this is, this is not a good one. Uh, most skin cancers are, um, are cut out. They're excised in the office. Um, rarely we do have to send patients to see a surgeon who will do it in a, um, a surgical um, setting like a, like a surgical um, a center or a hospital. Um, usually that's done if there's a, a bigger um, surgery or if it's, it has to be done with lymph nodes. Um, for example, melanoma is often done with lymph node uh, studies depending on how deep it was. Um, but for the majority of skin cancers, they're going to be cut out in the, in the uh, office. For more superficial skin cancers, sometimes we can get rid of them by scraping and burning, by freezing, or by use of chemotherapy creams. So there are some alternatives um, for, for more superficial minor ones, which is why, again, it's really important to get in and get seen and get things diagnosed when they're early. Um, uh, occasionally we'll have to do radiation as well, um, or even chemotherapy for, for, for melanoma. Uh, the most important prevention is sunscreen, sunscreen, sunscreen. Also, um, it's really important to think about what kind of sun behaviors you're, you're, you're experiencing and try to modify them. For example, um, put up shade around your pool, um, you know, stay under on the umbrella at the beach, um, wear sun protective clothing. Um, sunscreen is very, very important, but sun, uh, sun protective clothing are things that don't have to be reapplied, they don't sweat off, um, and they can be purchased pretty much everywhere nowadays. Um, uh, um, but you do have to think about that kind of stuff. You also, you want to seek shade at the highest uh, um, sun times of day, for example, between 10 and 3 p.m., 10 a.m. and 3 p.m., you want to seek shade. Um, go to the beach in the morning, go out in the afternoon, maybe go out to lunch in the middle of the day. Uh, get out of the sun. Um, also, um, think about um, children. Children are not good at, about, about applying sunscreen or seeking shade. You have to think about them. Um, give them hats, give them sunglasses. Don't let your little boys run around at the pool without their shirt on. 
Um, I like the swimsuits that come with the rash guard shirts because it's great protection for huge areas of skin that are otherwise pretty vulnerable, you know. So, um, uh, you know, sunscreen, of course, is the most important uh, uh, ticket, but, um, but also just modifying your behavior.